this was to give a short break to those poor people who have trouble with my wrinkles. How about this? Is this better? How about this? Hold on. Is this better? What do you want me to do? Get a facelift? I have relatives who had facelifts. Three of them. She wanted a fourth one. The doctor said, no, that's you can't. It's too much. Isn't it silly? Do you know how we're going to look in the grave? That's not us, the body. When you trim your nails and you throw them out in the grass or in the garbage can, is that you? Is that part of you that's in the grass or the garbage can, those little pieces of fingernails? No. You cut your nails and you are still here. Anyway, I wanted to get the wrinkle talk out of the way because I want to talk about more important things like bank fraud. Not from the bank, but from other people. I had to have two meetings this week with my bank because there are unauthorized withdrawals on my account. And uh, they told me quite a few things. I made notes. They said, don't do paper statements because if they're coming in the mail, the there might be a bad player postal worker that sees it's from a bank and then he could get all your information. Uh, they also said no more paper checks because there are people that steal your mail out of your mailbox even in front of your house. And if you pay someone with a check, you are handing them a gift of all your information. Think of it, you have your address, your name, your bank routing number, your bank account number, um, even your phone number, right? Okay, so what else did they tell me? That you shouldn't have any direct debits from your account because then uh, whoever the payment is going to they have your account number your name and your routing number now uh, after these two long meetings at my bank with the bank manager and my banker uh, they handed me this paper and the lady said to me this is invitation only and the name of it is Are You Protected? They're having a group chat uh, next week with certain clients of theirs, which they're going to explain to them how to keep their finances safe, secure, protected. Now, one of my relatives said maybe they're just doing this to, um, you know, drum up business. They want you to invest in certain of their financial products. But I had the idea that they're just giving this invitation to their most clueless clients like me. Anyway, that's that. Um, that was a big day for me at the bank. Not yesterday, but the day before. It's also the day I went to look at that apartment complex. And... Uh, then one of my relative call, call, relatives called, and he's usually so busy, so I just picked up the phone. Even though I was still out, you know, I was at the mechanics, and I stayed on a long time. I'm just telling you all this because when I go out, I don't eat. Because I do not want any digestive problems while I'm out in public bathrooms. It's bad enough you have to, you know go in the public restroom for liquid waste. Um, so, you know, like I'll have two mouthfuls of non-dairy yogurt before I leave the house in the morning with maybe two or three mouthfuls of like applesauce, you know, just something to get my body to work on. So it was, I, I did not, I did not get back here. I had to go shopping also, the post office. I didn't get back till like 4 o'clock, and it's very hard to eat after you haven't eaten for a while, so 
Um, I knew the next day I'd lose weight. I, I lost a pound or more the next day. But the next day, which was yesterday, I felt so terrible. So terrible. I felt nauseated. My blood pressure was down. My pulse was down. Because, sure, when you're not eating, you're not getting enough salt. And, you know, I have a tendency to low blood pressure. So and I had to take it easy yesterday. I didn't do much filming of videos for uploading. I just did, you know, paperwork and stuff like that. Anyway, about 5 o'clock I felt better, so I rushed out to do some mowing and play with the dog. And because uh, we need exercise, and mowing is great exercise. I'm talking about so many subjects. <sighs> but what did I really want to say? I guess it all goes together. You uh, do what you have to do. Um, you try to help your body the most you can help it. I read years ago that, um, somewhere that when we have these high points where there's a lot of excitement, not necessarily a problem, but even good times are exciting and stressful to the body, even good news, celebrations. And they showed a graph on wherever I was reading this, and the, and the graph was like this, up and down. And the high points on the graph were these high, exciting moments we have, whether stress or happiness. And the low point on that, that wavy line was when we're resting, things are normal, we're calm. So they mentioned that whenever we have these high points to make sure we have one of those low points where things are normal and routine because the body can't take all that stress. I, it can, it'll adjust, but it'll have reactions, you know, like I did, I overdid it that day and the next day, you know, so many things were out of whack, my blood pressure, my pulse, my digestion. So do what you have to do. I couldn't say no that day. When I got to the post office, the bank statement came in the mail and there were, I'd had problems with uh, fraudulent debits before, but there were two more. Um, so I had to go back to the bank again and I had to I had to work that all out and even though I did and they they started to put a closure on the account and restrict the account and give me a new account number the next day yesterday there were two more fraudulent debits I mean it's just amazing and the uh, bank manager was asking me is do you live alone? Is there anyone else in your house? Is there anyone that knows your bank account number? And I I had been suspicious because I, I had an overnight guest recently and uh, it was someone I had just met that was having a problem so I invited her to stay the night. She seemed nice. She, she reminded me of my family. She's older than me in her 70s, just handicapped, ill. But there was something missing from the house when she left the next day. It was just, just a little piece of a sentimental thing uh, that you put on a keychain or something. I thought that was strange. And I had uh, let her sleep in this room, the Florida room, and I had forgotten that on the desk here I had some temporary checks from, from a new account just those sample checks they give you like three on a page in case you need to write a check before your new box of checks come so is it possible that that she looked through my papers during the night I, I can't imagine that she was so sick and everything and weak and walking with a walker Anyway, I hadn't intended to tell this to anybody, but that bank manager of mine, he looks like Inspector Clouseau, not the new one, the original one, Peter Sellers, and he has these piercing eyes, and it was like the way he looked and the way he was, the way he was looking at me, I just, 
I just told him everything about this woman who was in my house, that maybe it was her, but I don't think it's possible because she was so ill. And just, <laughs> anyway, uh, he, he, should be a, he should be a private investigator or a police officer or something. Uh, I don't think he likes it when I remind him that he looks like Inspector Clouseau. <laughs> anyway, I, I said to him, you know, shouldn't the bank be catching these these fraudulent debits? Why do I have to catch them? Are you going to hire me to work here? And I said, you know, this small amount of money in that account, what if one day I have a big amount of money and I, I put it in the account? What if I have $80,000, you know, and I put it in this account, and one morning it's all gone? What am I supposed to do, live in my truck? live on the street and he got offended he said do you mean are, are you trying to say that we will give you back 300 that was fraudulently taken out of your account but we're not going to give you back 80,000 and I said you would give me back 80,000 and he said yes we would <laughs> anyway, this whole thing is just, it's just so amazing and interesting, and um, this modern world, uh, if nothing else, it's very stimulating intellectually, isn't it? So, I think that's about all for now. Um, I don't know what else to say, I've already said I've already said too much already. <laughs> oh, I wanted to say another thing about wrinkles. You know, there are things on our bodies that are supposed to be wrinkled, like our brain. We wouldn't be able to think if our brain didn't have wrinkles, right? And what about actors we love? Let's, let's say Walter Matthau. I'm always happy when I see his face somewhere or there's a movie of his coming on. I don't care about his wrinkles. He just looks cute to me because he's funny. He's nice. Well, that's about it. Wrinkles, bank fraud, nutrition. <laughs>